Hi, it's Warwick Merry here. I'm going to be the host of the session that's coming up very, very soon. One of the tools we're going to be using is called Jamboard. It's a great way to put a whole lot of information together in one spot that we can all get to look at. And I wanted to give you a quick heads up on, on what it's like to use it. It's really simple. So let's go to Jamboard and have a bit of a look. All right. So this is the Jamboard that we're using. You'll see the menu down the side here. This has all the options of what you can do uh, in terms of adding content to it. The easiest one is this one here, which is the post-it note or the sticky note. And so you can type a comment here, maybe it's an idea and it can be idea number one. You can change the color of what you want your sticky note to be and then just click save and then cancel. And here's idea number one. Now you can change the size of the sticky note. You can drag and drop it and move it around, whatever you want to do. So if you want to cluster different ideas together. So again, you just click on it, type in. So here's idea two. Uh, let's say you want to blue, save, cancel, and here's idea two. It's really that simple. Uh, if you want to, if you made a spelling mistake, you want to edit it, just move over it, hover over it. You'll see the three buttons, edit, and away you go. And as you saw then, you can also duplicate it or change different orders and send them backwards on the imagery board. So there's a bit of manipulation you can do, but majority of the time, you're just going to be throwing different ideas. Now you can draw lines too, again, using the pen function. So you can pick a color of your pen, or whether it's uh, a pen or a highlighter or, or a marker or a, you know, do some watercolor work. Oh, isn't that, oh, isn't that nice? It's the green rolling hills. So you can do some things like that. Um, I find the pen really difficult to operate. I've got to be honest, because I'm using a mouse. Um, so when I try and write things, it's, uh, it's just a bit weird. And my handwriting, I've got to say, is bad enough as it is. So what you can do is erase things. So here's the eraser. So you can just quickly just erase what you've done there very simply, um, and it'll just get rid of some of the stuff if you want to tidy things up if you've made a mistake. Uh, you can import pictures if you want to, if there's certain imagery you think, oh, this could be good. I can go to Google Imageries uh, and search for, I don't know, hills. Let's have a look for hills. Uh, and it'll come out and you can then insert some of these hills into the background as an image that you can represent or do whatever you want. So we'll just put hills up in the corner over here. Um, so you can add an image. The other things you can do is some shapes. Uh, so if you, and you're clicking on this little arrow here, will give you the options of the different shapes you can draw. So let's just say we wanted to draw a rounded rectangle. Um, I can then draw a rounded rectangle, just if you want to do something like that. Uh, and again, text box, you might just say, okay, have over here, let's get everyone's, I don't know, uh, LinkedIn address. Maybe that's what we can do. Hang on, I've moved it. There we go. Why is it not doing what I want? Edit. Right. so LinkedIn address. And so you can just type a simple text, bit of text there. So it's not in the, the, the post-it note kind of format, just in straight text. The other thing is if you are having a discussion, you want to highlight something, this little laser is pretty cool because you can click on that and sort of circle your idea to draw attention to it, but then the laser will fade over time. Aren't these lovely mountains? Is it, oh, look at this rounded box. So it's a great way of pointing things out should you need to. That's it. Like That's how you use Jamboard. It's really simple. One of the benefits of it is that it's still available after the session. So um, with the whiteboard functionality in Zoom, when you close it, it's gone. And also you can't share stuff in the breakout rooms. This is on a different platform. So therefore it stays there nicely. You can keep looking at it afterwards. And it means that we can then use it as a platform for future events as well. If it's the, there's some foundation we're building on. Um, what I'd recommend that you do is have a go, like try a Jamboard and it's easy. It's part of Google, so it's free. Just open up a Google browser. This is Google Chrome. Scroll on down here, you know, the three, the nine dots, not three. Scroll down until you get to Jamboard, click on Jamboard. Then uh, Jam, these are the ones I've already got. So just click on the big plus, see this big plus here, click on that. It'll open up and then you've got a brand new Jamboard that you can have a bit of a play with. So we just wanted to give you a heads up that this is what we're gonna be using so you can get a bit of practice on how to use it. Um, look, it's it's a really good tool and very powerful tool and I'm sure on the day it's gonna add a lot of value to us. All right, that's it. Just a quick video to show you how it's used. I hope that's of help. See you at our little gig coming up, a little soiree, a little get together that's coming up shortly. Warwick Mary, see you then.